Hey guys, it's Raven, aka One Creative Creature, and I am going to be doing a tutorial on how to make an easy DIY doll room. My workspace is very messy, so don't comment about that. I already know. Um, so first off, you're gonna need a binder, and you're just gonna have to have. Oh God, the doll's falling. Uh, you're just gonna have to have. You're just gonna have to have a solid, nice flat ground. My nails are horrible. You're just gonna have to have a solid flat ground um, for the floor. And this house is totally movable. You don't have to glue anything down. Um, so all I have to do is just take the binder and just put it up to make two walls of the room and then if you want you can cover that little space up I haven't chosen to do that just because I'm lazy and then once you're done that you could just start adding in some props like let's say a bed um, a wardrobe and then a little beauty thing, uh, chair, some accessories for your doll, cloth, and anything you anything you can find that you would put in your room. You can also, if you really want, you can put some posters on this wall just to kind of decorate it, and. Um, because I have the Monster High Catacombs, I got this chandelier that came with the pack. And so I just added the chandelier to a stand. And then just put that behind the behind the um, binder. And just kind of hung that like a chandelier. I'm going to add some more accessories in this. Just to kind of make it like more presentable. And I'm probably going to put some black... Um, some black paper right here to cover that up because that's just you wouldn't have that in a room actually can I peel this off I think I actually might be able to peel that off but um yeah so this is yeah that's basically it this is a really really short DIY and I really hope you enjoy it also, um, a little doll update. I created a brand new custom for a series that I'm going to be doing, and it's called, um, the series that I'm going to be doing is called Just Let Go, and, um, I will, um, put out the intro for it, but the new custom that I made, her name is Lyra. It is spelt L-I-E-R-A, and um, she is she is a siren. Um, her name's Lyra. Lyra Song, I think. Yeah, Lyra Song, and um, I just took nail polish and just put dots on there to make it look like scales. And I also put it on her legs. I still need to do a top coat so that the nail polish doesn't fall off. And then I just um, removed the um, part that I used the Draculaur for this. Uh, focus, 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 please focus. Um, so, focus. My god, I hate my iPad. I'm using my iPad for this. Oh my god, focus. Will you not focus, please? Thank you. Okay, um, I just removed the little, um, beauty mark here, then removed her lipstick to get rid of the fangs and the lipstick, and then I put on some, I put on some more nail polish, and put a top coat on that, and I cut her hair, I cut her hair short, I cut the pink out of it, you can still see some pink in there. Oh my god, you can still see some pink in there. But I cut her hair, cut all the pink out of it, and I'm actually really happy with this custom. It's 
it's nice because I actually got to um do more um remove um I need I got to remove more of the factory paint than most of my customs, uh, than um like my other custom, and I actually got to like um customize her. Um, my room smells like damp wash right now, but in case you're wondering, if you haven't seen my other videos, this is my other custom. Vicky. I haven't decided her last name yet. Victoria, but I call her Vicky. Yeah, I gave her shiny skin. I thought it was going to make her pale, but it made her sparkly. And, um, in case you were wondering, this pink part, it's not just randomly pink. It's supposed to be flesh, like ripped, like the skin was ripped off, and then all that's left is the flesh. So, yeah, that is it. Uh, that's it for my DIY video. Um, thank you for watching. Click the like button. Subscribe. Leave a comment for what you want me to do next. Love you guys. Bye.